National Football Show. We appreciate all of you coming aboard today like you have. I mean, monster day for us here. And for you, we appreciate it. That was a monster performance last night. Again, if you're not looking at what went on in that ball game, to me, Gary Cobb's going to know exactly, before I bring him up here, he's going to know exactly what I'm talking about. That is just mental toughness. I mean, it's mental toughness. When you see something like that, you're resilient. You you refuse to lose. Death before you you know you're losing. I mean, it's all of those things that you're taught as a player when you're younger that you refuse to lose, man. And that's kind of what that team did last night. It, it was it was inspiring to watch. Josh Allen was spectacular. He was spectacular. But you saw a lot of fatigue in that game. I can't wait to hear Gary Cobb from Fox 29. He joins us now here. And, Gary, that was some performance last night, boy. I'll tell you what. I mean, you're getting your ass kicked for three quarters. And you just, man, I mean, Gary, you know what I'm talking about when you're yes, I do. conditioned like that to not lose. I mean, very rarely do you see teams like that. Well, they've got uh, numerous people uh, on that team. You know, you got, of course, Jalen. Um, you got uh, Jason there, you know, these guys are tough minded guys. And, uh, you know, and, and, you know, they weren't brought up, you know, with the baby little, you know, like kids are brought up, unfortunately too, too many now with kids are baby so much. You're not born on third base on that team. That's right. I mean, and these guys were guys that got pushed and they're used to being in challenging situations. So they don't just fall apart uh, when they fall down because really, woof. Whew, man, that was looking ugly, man. That was ugly. The offense was looking ugly. The defense, you know, which the secondary has been struggling. They like giving – it was well, well, they're at least going to throw for 300 yards. <laughs> I mean, so – and then to see them come back like that, that is really impressive. Uh, and you can see it happening. They didn't wince each time. And they're just uh, – they've got a lot of outstanding, not just players, but people on that team that got heart. You know, they're fighters, man. Uh, that's how they got to where they're at. And and you can see that they, these guys are really people that do not quit. Gary, do you think this team's better than a year ago? Not that I don't know. I mean, I, you know what? As much as we rave about, you know, how they have uh, found ways to win and everything, they haven't played uh, up near their peak yet. You know, uh, and they're going to get the challenge, you know, where – you know 49ers going to push them up there. If they're going to play with them, they're going to have to raise that level. You know, if the Niners come out and play the way they're capable, where we've seen them play in their in their best games. Uh, I think um, at the end of this season, when they get to the playoffs, you know, between the 49ers and the Cowboys and the Eagles, we're going to see some special football, man. How about this, Gary? Yeah. When you play teams like you're, you played Dak, you had Tua, you went Mahomes, now you just went Allen. Any fear getting into this game? I mean, think about it. And plus, if you look at the snap count, we just we just looked at it. 74 against the um, – this is defense. Yeah. Against the Chiefs. Yeah. You had 95 um, against the, the Bills. The Bills had 95 offensive plays. That's 170 <laughs> plays, basically, which is almost three games. Mm. Are you concerned a little bit about that going into this Niner game? Because, as you know, you're not only just physically you know, have played these games inside of a short window, yeah. but you now had a mental where you're playing championship quality teams, and now you got San Francisco. Is there a concern where you're a little bit, and plus you got some injuries and guys nicked up heading into this game? You know, they don't have time to be concerned. Oh. Uh, you know, you, you got to yep. just put that stuff, you know, and I know. Yep. I can say, yeah, but look. I'm talking like a media turd, Gary. <laughs> I got it. Okay. <laughs> no, I, no, no, it, it's, it's okay. But I, I understand that you can sit and think that way. But, of course, they don't have they don't have time for that. Yeah. They have better. This one, you better strap it up. Because you could tell by the way the Niners, you ever hear them say anything about the Eagles. When they were walking out, I was down there in the uh, tunnel when they were walking out at, uh, after that playoff game and they were telling, we're going to be back. We're going to be back. They were already saying that. 
because they felt embarrassed because they really weren't able to compete with the Eagles after their quarterbacks got knocked out. They, they were a joke. They were like having a, um, you know, some type of a, a, a garbage team out there. I mean, it was just like it was it was no chance. That they, McCaffrey was a quarterback at the end. That, I mean, it was a joke. It was a joke. So they were embarrassed, and, and they took that personally. So they're going to show up there ready to fight. <laughs> you know, I could see them just, hey, they never play the game. They just have a fight starts. <laughs> Reddick's calling them whiners. Uh, it's called them right. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because look, you got your guy knocked out. That's your fault. Okay. That what was going, you're gonna blame the Eagles for knocking their quarterback out? Come on. I, see, I actually <laughs> like shit talking like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's good, man. It's fun. But that's why I, I that's why I'm saying this is gonna be a, a straight up good. This is gonna be a battle, just like a, a fist fight, you know. Where somebody get their teeth knocked out and stuff, you know, this is gonna be fun, man. How about this, Gary? Yeah. You played with Jerome. I played with him. Yeah. You think this guy Carter can be better than him? Uh he's uh, you know, I don't know if he has that dog the way that Jerome does with you know, but I think he's he, I mean, talent wise, I haven't seen many players at his age that doesn't has, he look like he's been in the league 10 years. The kid has acumen, yeah, of going like this is your rookie year? Yeah. The, thing, the things he does, the kid he is just, he's smart, man. And, uh, you know, but when you talk to him in the locker room, you see he's just a kid. You know, he's so oh, young. He's got a great smile. He reminds me so much of Jerome because yeah, he, he does. smiles. Yes. I actually think he's more of a student of the game than Jerome was. Yeah, I, I think so, too. He does. I mean, the kid's smart. Yeah. You can see the way, I mean, the way he reads blocks and things. You're going like, who taught this kid? Yeah. You know, <laughs> he just picks it up and... And and the thing he does is he anticipates what they're going to do. He sit down and you go and like, man, somebody taught this kid about formations and stuff. What I know, is, I know. He kid learn strength. all the stuff. Out? He slides the strength. He yeah, tilts and shit. I'm like, yeah. How did he? Where, where did where did he get that? <laughs> I don't know who was teaching him, but he's very sound in that. And then he's just he's just a uh, an amazing athlete. You know, hey, speaking you of know, that, that move where he tried to come up, go on in the, in the, in the guy's legs and get yeah. the, uh, yeah, the yeah, for things the, like for that. The, like, who would think of that? Oh, I, I, <laughs> it's brilliant. Actually, I thought he was yeah. going to get it. Get he almost it. had it. I'll tell you something, though, dude. The, yeah. One of the most impressive things in that game. I'm watching this 400 pound guy run down the sideline step for step. You talk about Josh the Allen. Hey, yeah. I went like this. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That thing was, I mean, that, hey, I, 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 I said to my friend, I go, what is that thing? And, and it, hey, it was like a giant rhino yeah, running down the sideline. And I'm like, holy shit, is that guy hey, moving? I, I was in the locker room after the game and they were in there talking. You know, I, I just like those kids. Those are some good kids. You know why? They play hard. Yeah. They go out and, and, and you can see where uh, you got to give the people at Georgia credit. That they, they they taught these guys how to play hard. That if you're going to be out there, you give it everything you got, and uh, that's something that you know is, is just something I I can't help but respect people that do that. And and both of those kids, you know, they play hard, and they were in there after the game talking, and you know, you see they're talking, you see how young they are, but man, these guys play hard, and they're going to do nothing but get better. You know, Davis is going to get better because you could see he was in there talking about you know working on his weight. He's always talking about that dropping that way. He knows he needs to drop more, uh, but but they're going to be good. I mean, but uh, but this whole thing is fun now, man. This is going to be some fun stuff because these games coming up, man. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. And you know Dallas is waiting over there too. This is going to be fun. And uh, you know the the thing about the Eagles is, man, there are some cool customers, boy. Oh, are they? Come on, I mean. We were up up there in the media. You know, all the guys were going, man, this game is over. The guys were walking out. You know, these are all Eagle people. Now, I, lot- I thought they were going to maybe come <laughs> back against KC. I didn't think they were coming back against the Bills last no, night. No, I, I, not at all. I, and, I didn't. And you and you got some people that work for the Eagles. See, now, they won't say this publicly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're, they're basically they're just about crying, man. They're going, this game is over. The way they, Look at the way these guys are playing at halftime. Can you believe the way they're playing? I mean, they got 21 yards passing. I mean, they're just awful. Hertz had a seven quarterback rating. Yeah. I mean, just horrible, man. <laughs> horrible. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, hey Gary. But that you... doggone hurts. He's a fighter, man. That son of a gun's a fighter, boy. He sure is. Gary, are you concerned about this, though, with guys hitting walls and maybe a little bit of depth issues and yes. fatigue issues? Yes. When the last two games, you've given up a total of 170 yards rushing. Yes. In the last two games, you gave up. You're averaging 170. I think it was 168 versus KC yeah. and 173 versus uh, Buffalo. Are you Look, concerned about that a little bit the last two Yes, weeks? I'm very much so because when I look at the Niners, man, if you let their running game get going, all the things they do off of that, yeah. man, they carve you up. And, and, and you know, they're, they're the kind that put the dagger in you. You know, you, you don't see many teams that respond after they get into them. So – I think their job is going to be much tougher, you know, playing against the Buffalo and in San Francisco is like in a different world, okay? If these guys get you bleeding, they they try to just totally just – I mean, look at the way they did the Cowboys. And the Cowboys got a good football team. They totally humiliated the Cowboys to the point to where – well, I think, what was it, 42 to 10? So they can't – I don't think they can play – I don't think they can let what happened against the Buffalo, they cannot let that happen against San Francisco because I don't think they can respond to that. If they respond to that, I'll just have to come on here and say, I'm a liar, I'm a liar. Hey, no, I'm, hey, they've they've made me look <laughs> stupid, and so I, I get it here. Gary, but, I, I, yeah. I got a feeling, and I know what Steve Wilkes is going to do, the D coordinator mm -hmm. for San Francisco, and I got an idea what they're going to do. If Lane Wait, Johnson yeah. is still um, – if he's nursing that groin, they you know got, what I'm going to do? I'm going to run every single stunt at him <laughs> yeah. that I possibly can. You're right. and you know who I'm going to do it with? I'm going to do it with Boza and Nick and, and Chase Young. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm going to line up right on him with those two guys. And they, if Goddard's not out there, that's going to yeah. be a problem. They could do that. I mean, because as good as, uh, you know, the kid, you know, played there yesterday and he battled, I mean, but. You know, between him and Lane Johnson is like, you know, day and night. Absolutely. So, uh, and, and uh, you know, the, the thing about the, the 49ers is they, they are bloodthirsty, meaning when you start bleeding, they don't let you come back. You know, they're like the lion. Like, what's that lion? Smells blood. You start bleeding. The party's over. And so I don't think they can afford to fall behind like they, they've done in some of these other And games. Young's been spectacular in San Francisco playing yeah. again with – with Boza, those two guys played at Ohio State together. That's right. He, he's he's been, yeah, he, like he looks reborn. Like yeah, young, his rookie year again. Yeah, oh, and you could see just with his body language when he got out there, you know, uh, with the fact that you got all this talent on their defense, yep. and you know what they're playing for. They're, it's not like being down there in Washington where you're just going through the motions. You know, these guys got a chance to win this whole thing. Plus, he, and that's he their gave goal. a lot of all he wanted. Yeah. He gave him a lot of all he wanted. Let me ask yeah. you something here, Gary. Uh huh. I am not a Brian Johnson. I I just do not like this guy. Woo! And now now wait, me and me and Tone I, talked about something here. Yeah. You know what it looks like? It looks like there's too many voices in the room because this is becoming a common theme now. First, uh -huh. sucks. They go back to doing what they do because they're not scripted. Yeah. You know, I, I'm under the belief, and this is just a theory, that those ten those ten place uh that are scripted yeah. that's Giuliani's influence and once you get off them it's chaotic in the first half and I tell you, that, that was some... the second half all of a sudden you see <laughs> more running the quarterback running more design runs with the quarterback yeah Ryan's able to be a little more freer because at the end of the day yeah the head coach has a say and if you're not changing anything Gary at the end of the day there could be too many voices in his ear right now and in the quarterbacks there and that's why it has has it looked like last year. I tell you, um, that was some of the, the worst football I've seen. That uh, was terrible. The, the way the offense was playing at the beginning. I mean, if, if I were Jalen, I looked like the two and five team in Nick Sirianni when yeah, he was hey, play call. If, if I were Jalen, I'd have been going off on somebody. I mean, come on! It looked like it was just like, what are you doing? There's no design to what they're doing. So, I, I'll just tell you this, boy. This is this is not the time to play like that. Not not against the Niners, not against these guys. So I don't I don't get these training wheel coordinators. Well, you know, um, I think that you know he's probably you know rethinking some things. Uh, you know, we'll see if they can recover. You know, I I think the fact that they did go back to the basics, 
the where you uh whatever they were trying to do was like obviously was, was a joke in the first half. I mean, he's looking, it looked like he's looking. I can't see whether the guys are open or not. I'll look at the uh at the tape uh later today, but he, he just looked like you know, he might as well you might as well put a, a kid off of some backup uh college team, just threw him in there. It looked like that that's a confusion that that like Jalen's just back there. I don't know. He didn't comment about it, but it didn't look like they were prepared. And then the thing you knew, though, is going into that game, they had to know that some of the things uh, that that they had seen the previous week, okay, from, from Kansas City, that they were going to see uh, yesterday, that they definitely were going to see. You know, there's no doubt about it. Because, you know, Sean McDermott and, uh, and, and Steve – with the um, with KC, come on, they're buddies. Yeah, you know they're gonna talk. Oh yeah, and so so many things that you saw against Kansas City, you were gonna see uh, yesterday. So I don't see how that could have been a surprise, and how you didn't have something ready for it. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, you should be sitting there going, okay, I know where you're gonna you're gonna send that corner off the slot. That slot corner is coming, gonna be blitzing. What, how could you be surprised? I know. I just. It just seemed that a little bit chaotic in the second half here. I got a, I got two last questions for you here. Mm -hmm. Would you think about bringing, if he was open? Now, remember, Frank Wright was going to be the offensive coordinator before he got the Carolina Panther job. And yeah. you got to remember this. Jalen Hurts' favorite guy to watch film is Phillip Rivers. He coached with Phillip Rivers yeah. in Indianapolis and also in San Diego when they were in San Diego with the Chargers. So mm -hmm. there's a history there a little bit. Plus, Sirianni was the wide receiver coach for Frank when yep. Frank was the OC in San Diego. Would you be open to having Frank as a – like what, what Patricia is? Not the coordinator, but a guy. Because, again, if you want to make a move in the offseason, you got Frank in the waiting, yeah. like he was supposed to with Vic Fangio – and you're kind of setting things up if somebody wants to come calling for Brian Johnson for some reason. You got Frank in the building, and Nick trusts him a lot, and that's one of his guys. Would you think about bringing him in as a consultant? I, I would definitely think about that uh, because I, I don't like a lot of things that are going on. You know, how do you just have you no know A.J. Brown the last two games? Just you Come on. You don't let him just take a player away from you? Come on. You can't let a defense just do that. You cannot let that. So whatever you're doing, the thinking something is off because a a, a, a good designer is not going to let you take away one of their best players. They're not going to let you do that. So they got to step stuff up. So if that means having him in, but the, the big thing you got to do is you can't have too many people running the ship. So what you would have to have is maybe he gives his input to the head coach and then he decides on how much is going to go in rather than you can't just have too much going on. But you cannot have situation where you can just take away the, you know, weapons and, and they don't have something to counteract it. You cannot have that. And the last two weeks, I mean, it's just been some awful um, design. Doesn't like the look first like, half has been. Yeah, come just, on, man. I mean, all just, it's been all just, over the place. Yeah, because right. of the injury now to Zach Cunningham. Yeah, and because of the injury, also to uh, Nicobe Dean. Yes. Do you do you bring in Shaq Leonard now? Do you sign I, him? I, I think I think so. I mean, you need you need, you need help bodies. Here. You need you need bodies, and so if he can come in, come in. I know he's not the player they say that he was. You know, he's not because of uh, an injury. But come on, we need him. We 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 need people there. I mean, you can see they put the kid in the Ellis. He was in over his head. I'm, oh, wait I'm looking at they're, they're running the ball right at him, and right at him. He's, he's not reading it. I'm going like you know, steps. steps. Yeah, you could see he, he just was not ready. Uh, so they need somebody that has that type of experience. So I would say definitely if they can make the move and sign him, uh, they need to do it immediately. That that means yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you this, Gary. If you want to give an award out for the most improved coach, uh -huh. it has to be Michael Clay. Bingo. Now they have done a good job with the special teams. I I will. I mean, they have returns, 
You know, you can't believe. I mean, I'm going like you. So you can return the ball, and and he's been doing a good job all year. The um, the punt returner. I got I got to give him credit. You know, they have come a long way, uh, and whatever they did, uh, they put it on some of the other units though. <laughs> whatever. Oh, yeah. they, I mean, because the way the defense was playing, I mean, oh. some of that was just. I mean, I mean. They they could have they could have had dog on their seven hundred yards. Josh Allen had four hundred himself. I mean, Gary, he was a freak show out there, and and that's why that really, kid's a freak show. I, I know he he. I mean, the kid is a tremendous uh, tremendous player. talent, and and um, I think um, you know the change they made with the offensive coordinator. Oh yeah, you know more I, I underneath it, stuff. You, you, yeah. you, can, you know what Brady's trying to do? He's trying to like uh, bring the defense back to him. So yeah. it opens it up deep for him. That's right. And he's just got to – I think it's just him learning to be patient. He was patient in that that's game. A, that's all it is. It's, yeah, you know, and he, he, was, he, was, he was just a stud. The thing I, I – you know, I, I try to tell people, I mean, I don't know why they don't put a tape on. If you look at Montana, I'm going like – I played against him. I mean, how many of those check downs he would – he'd go ahead and take the five yards. He would take it. No Roger problem. Craig. I mean, he would take those five yards, no apologies – Brady, how many times did Brady take a check down? Won six Super Bowls in New England, seven really total doing that. So, so to me, I take you take one of those kids, you put their tape on, go look, kids, sit here and look at this. Okay. If they can take the check, check down, you better take the check down, kid, because then it's going to open up everything. And that's what it that's what happened with the Eagles. And so I expected that. I thought he was going to have a big game because I, I went in and I was listening to some some tapes of the of the young offensive coordinator. And I'm saying he's connected with this kid. He's already connected with him. And I think he's going to have uh, some good numbers the rest of the year uh, because the kid is, I don't know. I don't know who's more Dude, talented in the rain, than him. In the rain, 332, and then he ran for like eight. Great talent, man. He's a great just... talent. But the boys had better get ready to play, though. Oh, yeah. They had, be, they had better be ready. They got to play better than they've been playing. I'm telling you. All of that win this way. Win it. Look, these guys are coming in. This is an outstanding football team that's getting ready to show up. They better get ready to play. That's right. I they agree. better get ready to play, man. Gary, I pre by the way, congratulations. Your Stanford High won the city championship. Is that so? Oh, yeah. They won it. Yep. They won the city championship. And the, uh, Donnie was named the FCI Coach of the Year. So, is first so? time in about eight years they yeah, won the city championship. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm going to have to send their congrats up there. Yeah, they they <laughs> they won the city championship over the weekend. So well, that's that's great. That's yeah, great. Hey, Gary, thank you, my friend. All right. Have a go. You got it. Our good friend Gary Kopp from Fox 29. Please hit the like button. Keep it here on the National Football Show. Ball and Hooters, the perfect pair.